this is the DIY Magician back with another weekend project. This time it's the Hillbilly three ring binder. I've done it again. So sit back and watch how it's done. All right. Now that you're ready, let's make the Hillbilly three ring binder. It starts off like all my other projects. I make the, uh, the board out of pallet wood. It's um, pretty simple. Again, um, you need to have uh, some pallet wood. You break it off the pallet. You uh, get it to the right size. Uh, again, with the uh, with this one here, I have alternated the wood. So it's only two pieces of, of uh, pallet wood cut in half, exactly in half. And I've alternated the, uh, the rough edge with the clean edge. So if you look at it uh, either way, uh, it alternates out. Okay, So that's what you do there. Now, that way you can serve uh, your pallet wood. Now, on the back... You want to make sure that you do the same thing as the other projects. You want to uh, clear out some space by sanding both pieces, uh, the backer board and the, uh, the, the strapping part here. Um, you want to make sure that you get some good glue, uh, put some pressure on it, and lock it down. Um, as I've mentioned before, uh, when you're screwing this on, you want to make sure that you have this uh, strap board here in the right spot so the screws work. But other than that, this is what you do. So it takes an overnight uh, for the glue to cure, and then you're ready to go. So hang on, we're going to teach you how to get the uh, little gadget. Be right back. Okay, now that you've got your backer board ready, here's the part that you need to get the little gadget for the uh, clipboard. So what you're going to need to do is find a three ring binder. Now this is a uh, more of a modern one. This is something you can get at your local uh, uh, supply, office supply house and they usually come with uh, this little gadget here and you can use that for things later um, but basically um, you're going to need to get the clipboard gadget out okay now this is a smaller one so if you want to make a just for one notepad uh, this will work just fine um, the uh, the gadget works where you have this this little um, uh, rivet here that goes on through okay uh, right there you want to find a, a drill bit that fits just perfectly in that spot you want to drill just this little part that is is uh, flared out okay uh, also you want to make sure you have it on a nice uh, level spot uh, your workbench uh, because what I found is as you're drilling these out you just want to drill that little first little part that flares out and then stop because if you keep going if you try and drill the whole stud what's going to happen is uh, this little guy right here is going to start spinning because your drill is drill bits going to catch a hold of it you're going to it's going to heat up and it might uh, actually ignite the uh, plastic and or the paper. Uh, it's just going to smell bad and the whole thing. So you just want to get a good uh, drill bit to just to get that flare off. It should pop it right loose. So again, this is the, the more of the smaller, modern, uh, uh, different uh, three ring binder. Here's a little larger one. Uh, this is kind of like the one I have on the, uh, the board itself, uh, where it has the circular part here and the flat part here. So you can... Uh, put it either way, but again, um, you're going to be drilling out that little flare right there. Okay. Now I've got a third one here. This is a little different. This is is a uh, specialty uh, three ring binder. It's not really even a three ring binder, but it's the same principle. Uh, you've got this little gadget here. Now this one you're going to have to get a little creative because the little uh, studs there are a little different. So you might want to do it from the backside, and that'll be the same thing. But anyways, you're going to have the uh, little gadget come off. And here's what you're going to end up with. You're going to end up with these. This is the largest one I've, I've been able to find. This is an old vintage one. Uh, this would be uh, more of the, uh, the standard uh, one. This is a little smaller than the one I'm using. Okay. Here is a traditional uh, round that you'd find. Okay. And then this is similar to that little gadget that I found on that specialty one. This is just a two hole. Uh, this one you actually just kind of uh, turn it off to the side like that and put your papers on and then lock it back into position. But the principle is the same. Now, one of the things you want to keep in mind, it's really important on the, uh, the larger clipboards, is that they have this little uh, spacer. Uh, when you look at the, uh, the binder, it'll actually, the, uh, um, it'll look like there's a space underneath. You need that space. You need to have that spacer there. Otherwise, when you go to open up the, uh, the little D-rings here, it's not going to work, okay? It's going to actually bind right there. So you need to keep that. Uh, so that's right there. The spacer's there. Uh, this one has a little more shallow spacer here. 
uh, as it's uh, going down. This one has uh, very little, but it still has a little spacer. So that's how you do it. That's what you've got. You've got the little gadget. You're ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to attach it. So wait right there. All right, now that you've got your backer board ready and you found your little gadget, you want to attach it to the board. Again, it's super, super easy. All you need are two screws. One, two, depending on how many uh, spots you have on it. But anyways, you want to have that spacer in place, screw it in, and again, make sure it's into the backing strip there. Okay, and there you have it. Your hillbilly three ring binder. Super easy, just like that. And you take your uh, little notepad or, or uh, three ring uh, whole sheets of paper and you place it right on top right there. And then you're ready to go. Hang it on the wall and you're, you're set. Anyways, here it is, the hillbilly three ring binder. Again, this is the DIY magician with another weekend project. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video from the DIY Magician, you also might enjoy joining our Facebook group. That's right, the DIY Magician Facebook group. Or you can visit our artist page. That's right, the DIY Magician artist page on Facebook. Or if you want to, please subscribe to YouTube videos and you'll see all the up-to-date videos as they come along. Thank you again for watching the DIY Magician video.